What's up guys, Jiving back with another video. Today we're going to be doing how to build fight. If you guys have seen my how to fight in arena series, this is going to be similar to that where I'm just breaking down my fights, but I'm also going to be adding certain retakes that I use and slowing them down for you. If this video helps you out, please consider using code JiveNTV in the item shop, hitting that like button, subscribing if you're new. Now let's get into this video. One thing I want to talk about real quick is that build fights are actually very important to practice. I practice them all the time, simply because if you can master build fights, then you'll be able to end fights faster. A lot of times, especially in arena, people start cranking on you and sometimes you're like, how do I counter this? If you're really good at build fights, you'll be able to build fight them for like a solid 5-10 seconds and hopefully get them peace controlled within that amount of time and be able to end the fight fast. This is my go-to move right here, just doing tons of high walls during build fights. Doing this will give you so many opportunities to peace control. As you saw in this fight, I did a high wall into an edit course to finish the fight. It was at this moment where I saw the opponent through my wall, and then I was able to track their movement and get them peace controlled. I constantly do high walls in arena and these build fights. Hopefully this video will help you understand them a little more. In this next fight, I'm basically peace controlling entire boxes and just moving from one box to another trying to trap my opponent. As you can see, when I do the first side jump, which is right here, I make a window in the wall and try to get a cone over top of him. But he wasn't in that box, so I go up a layer, do the same thing. That's when I see him in the box right next to me, and so I attack from above, and I'm able to get him full box and finish up the fight. This is a really good move to have down to peace control your opponent. If you can side jump this and edit a window in the wall and get a cone over top of them, you'll get them boxed so many times. And then if they're one layer up, all you have to do is build a ramp, place a high wall, and peace control through. This next fight, you'll notice some similarities from the first two. As you can see right off the bat, I'm doing high walls back and forth. And then I edit a window in this wall and try to place a cone over top of them. Let's slow it down. As you can see, I'm on higher ping in this fight. I was 1v1ing my followers on stream, but the twist was I had to play on their server. But as you could see, I was doing a bunch of high walls, I was trying to get him cone through the window. But what happened next was one of my favorite moves that I whip out all the time. I placed walls through my cone, this is a really good peace control technique. Doing that right there, if they're on that layer, you can get them peace controlled so quickly by claiming those walls above the cone right there. I've outplayed so many solid players with this move, it's just a really good way to throw them off. If you can claim those walls before them, you'll oftentimes get them pieced. Next clip, I'm doing a lot of the same stuff that I did in those first clips, but I outplay the opponent with this nice cone move, right here. Let's first look at the clip in slow motion, and then I'll break down how to do that move. First off, I'm just building up to him, I do the side jump, and try to get a cone over top of them again. I do that a lot, as you can see. Next, I make a window in this wall. I know they're over to the right of box, so I drag cones into their box. I actually got the cone over top of them and they had to turn around in the fight. I ruined their momentum by doing that. Let's take another look. So I edit this window in the wall and I drag cones to the right and get that cone over top of them. Then they have to turn around in the fight. And then I cut them off as they're trying to go up the back side of that box with another cone. Then I just piece them up and got the last shot. So this is the move I was talking about. You can place cones over walls or over ramps a box away simply by looking over, say, this wall. I aim my crosshair above it, and that allows me to get the cone over top of them without even editing a window in the wall. It's a really good move. Next fight, another really good example of my play style. I'm just doing a bunch of high walls, trying to peace control them from below, basically. That's the place where people least expect to get peace controlled from. If you can peace control from like a box or two below with these high walls and the cone plays, you'll outplay so many people and be able to end fights fast. So at first in this fight I was trying to get a side jump shot from behind but they got that blocked off. So I'm just trying to get sneaky angles on them from behind. I was having trouble getting up to their lair so I'd take a new direction, I go for the high wall side jump. They were still up a few layers so I go for another one. This one finally got me above them here, and then when I'm above them I see them editing through this cone. So I kinda look like I'm going a different way here, but I know they're going up that cone so I set up a perfect peak for me from above. That ramp floor edit from above works so well. In this next fight I'm on 50 ping and I actually do get them pieced up with the high wall retake. This is how I usually try to piece them up if they're right up against my high wall. I miss the initial shot and so instead I go out the side that I know they own the wall on. Then I just had to wait for the pre-fire. So in slow mode, this is what the high wall piece control looks like. I see their ramp right against my wall. Anytime I see that, I make a window and try to get walls around them and wait for them to edit. 
Then I see them pickaxing this side wall. Once I see them take that wall, I just swing myself around over to that side and wait for them to edit. Next fight, I just do one of my favorite high ground retakes and the fight was over right as I finished that retake. Here it is in slow motion. This is a nice move to do if they're two layers above and behind you. As you can see, it sets me up perfectly to just finish the fight right there. There are multiple versions of this retake that you can do. I broke them down a little bit in some of my retake videos. The first one is just like you saw in that actual clip. After you do this side jump in this retake, you just do a 180 and build up at them. Another version you can do is this retake into a high wall side jump instead of an elevated side jump. So at this point in the retake, when you're doing this side jump around the cone, you do a high wall instead. In this next fight, I'm on high ping again, doing my high wall thing, and I end this fight with a side jump shot. I was trying to track my opponent the entire fight, and once I realized they had their back exposed, the side jump just finished it off. Here it is in slow motion. As you can see right here at this point in the fight, I can see their builds on the other side there. Once I can spot their builds, I can kind of try to predict their direction of movement. So I thought I got him coned at first, I realized I didn't, but then I saw a perfect opportunity for the side jump from behind. This is just another example of hitting a side jump from behind. Side jumps are one of the sneakiest ways to get chip damage or to finish a fight like in this situation. If you can surprise them from behind like that, it's over. Next fight, I'm just ramping up to their lair. This is a pretty safe way to do it. I'm gonna show a different example of this ramp move that I use a lot in arena when pushing up to an opponent. But first, let's slow down the clip and see how I outplayed him. So he was trying to ramp through right here, and I noticed that, so when I blocked him off with that wall, I figured he'd go out the side. Sure enough, he did, and I just set up those cones for him to walk into, and then I struck from above. So this is the ramp push I was talking about. I do this a lot in arena. If I'm trying to push up to somebody, sometimes just straight up ramp rushing at them doesn't work. If they're like at a diagonal angle from you, you need to do this move. You can also try to confuse them by switching layers in this ramp rush, faking out ramps in their direction and then going up another layer. It can sometimes give you free high ground in a fight and also set up nice edit course situations for you. This next fight, I outplay the opponent by placing those walls through my cone like I did towards the start of this video. I'm showing this clip just to reimburse the idea that this move works really well and can be used in many different situations. In this fight, it set up a perfect opportunity to run an edit course and full box them. Once I get this big hit on them, I just have to get in their face and finish the fight fast before they get out of there. This next clip had to have been the cleanest clip of the day. This is a move that I recently just started doing more often. Let's slow it down. So at first in the fight, I'm just trying to get up to their lair. I'm doing the high wall retakes. And then when I'm closer to their level, I do this double edit and then I place walls through my double edit and then I piece control them on the other side. I'm gonna slow it down here even more because it's kind of hard to follow. Basically, if I'm ramping up to a flooring cone, I'll double edit through it and then place walls above. After that, I jump up, reset my cone, and then I can edit through either of those walls to piece control. Such a good move and it looks really clean in clips. So next fight, I do that ramp phase trick that I talk about all the time. I was on 80 ping here and I still did it successfully. So once I get this ramp in their box by crouching up and down and looking down to the left, I jump to the side I think they're gonna edit on and cut off their path. I know I'm moving fast in this video, but if you ever need to just like back up in the video and watch something over again, feel free. So in this fight, as you saw, I got them pre-boxed. I saw them moving to the left, and so I tried to cut them off with this side jump and then place cones in their box and get their head to smack into my wall at the end. It's really important that you try to track the opponent's movement in build fights because that'll set you up to peace control them a lot of times, just like it did for me here. Next up, we have another one of my favorite high ground retakes. This one requires a lot of fast editing. It's definitely harder to do on high ping. But as you can see, it makes for a lot of good peace control opportunities with the high wall and cone that I place. Here it is when I'm just free building so that you guys can break it down a little more. Feel free to slow it down, whatever you need. Here it is extra slow. So you double edit through, place a wall, edit the wall, place ramp floor ramp, edit the floor, flip the ramp, place walls, and then a cone on top. That's the idea. <laughs> So that's pretty much the end of the build fight analyzation. Hopefully this video helps you out. If you don't already know how to do those retakes and moves that I showed in this video, I definitely recommend hopping into creative and practicing them a bunch until you can hit them every time. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, use code JIVENTV in the item shop, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.